Welcome back to Don's Life. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. Today we're doing a follow-up on the C8 Corvette. You may remember from a previous video, I brought a C8 Corvette home. No, it wasn't mine. I showed it to the wife. She approved. I put a deposit on one. I'm just in the waiting list. Hopefully I can get a 2023, spec it out, and add it to the channel. I think that'd be really cool. But that car that I brought over that wasn't mine belongs to a buddy of mine. He has done quite a bit to it. So we're gonna check that out today. Let's go. Waiting on the street awkwardly for Steve to show up. This is our Cadillac Escalade. Just give you a little bit of an update here. This was a forged carbon wrap that I had tested out on it. It's pretty good. It's definitely unique. Um, we've already picked out another one. Um, so that's my wife's Escalade. That continues to be one of the builds. We have my GMC Sierra AT4. There are too many things to list in one video that I've done to this truck. Most recently, we've added these ditch lights. I like them. I understand they're not for everybody, but this is a truck that I'm building for viewers to see all the different DIY things you might want to tackle and do. And I'm trying them out so I can see if I enjoy them or not. Steve should be here any minute. Hopefully he arrives soon. So I'm not just standing in my driveway talking to a camera. We're putting a new windshield in the BMW M4 this week. You probably can't tell, but it is so pitted. There's actually a bad chip there that's right in your line of sight and gets in the way of the heads up display. And then we have that monster right there, which hasn't resulted in a crack all the way down yet. But if you look from the inside, you'll see how bad this pitting is. Maybe, I don't know if it'll pick it up on camera. If we get the right angle here, I don't know if you can see any of these little dots, but that's all pitted glass because this is a seven year old windshield. So that's just what happens. But we're getting a new one and we're not getting the cheap Chinese kind. It's too much, my friend. Let me catch my breath. <laughs> oh. Seeing it in motion is one thing. Is it cool? Oh yeah. 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 We'll have to trade for a while one day and you can see what I'm talking about. You've seen the footage of it driving. Oh, I bet. You yeah. know. Well, welcome. This is Steve. You've seen him before. Good old Steve. Well, my friend, good to see you. It's been a while. So I found this guy. You found this guy. Who fixed my carbon fiber locally. What? From that big boulder I hit. Yeah. Well, teach us. Cause you, it was really bad right here. Yeah. You have to like look to see where it was. There, there, that piece wasn't even there. He did a pretty good job. I would say so. So he just put new resin and filled it? And... Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Like I was impressed. So I was telling my viewers, I said, this video is going to be about the follow-up on the C8. It's a Corvette. <laughs> oh, we're getting Corvette. the fans. It's got a body <laughs> kit and stuff on it. Yeah. Yeah, any, no, all good. Um, yeah, so I was telling everybody at the intro that I drove this part way back from Edmonton. Yep. Introduced it to my wife. Yep. Thank you, by the way. She gave the go ahead to give See? the deposit. Perfect. And, but you screwed everything up for me. You know why? Why is this? Because you went wide bodies. Can I get a C8 and make it narrower I or taller? I don't think so, but maybe <laughs> it might be a possibility. Maybe I'll be the first, right? Yeah. Or maybe we got so, the suspension and drop I'll it. I'll on a secret and your viewers can see it, but for my viewers. Sure. I'm getting a Z06. You are? Yes. So there okay. is 15 2023s coming to Canada. Yeah. And I will have one of them. You heard it first on YouTube. <laughs> and actually, funny enough, the dealership I deal with, yeah. he kicked the owner's son and one of the Oilers players off the list to bump me up it. No way. Yeah. So, because I've bought so many cars there. More popular than Edmonton Oilers. Calgary fan? I don't even follow them. <laughs> oh, wait, there's more. There. Oh, there's more. There's more. Okay. So, your viewers will see this before my viewers because I'm sure you're going to put this up in the next couple of days. But um, I'm going to twin turbo this. Yes. Yeah, so I was gonna take the Amelia Hartford approach and put them down there, because it's easier. 
But the downside is, I don't want to run an oil scavenge pump. I don't want an oil reserve reservoir. Um, and there's, in our environment, there's a lot of shit down there, like the dirt yes. and stuff, right? So I'm going to try and make them fit under the glass. No way. I'm going to try. So we'll see. Let's do it. And then it would be cool if your viewers could tag Amelia Hartford, because I would like <laughs> to get her attention, ship this to LA and do some videos with her. That'd be insane. Yeah. That'd be insane. Yeah. So we'll do a quick montage yeah. and then I'll get you to walk us around the car. Let's do it. Okay. All right, we're gonna get Steve to just show us what he's got going on here. So Steve, walk us through it. Okay, it's a 22 Corvette C8, you know that. Um, I did the Street Hunter. So it started as originally I wanted to do just the Street Hunter wide body. And that was it, right? Which includes basically these two pieces yep. and this. Yes. But then I was like, that's not, not Steve enough, right? So then I added the, the hood, the Street Hunter head, carbon hood. And then I added the Street Hunter uh, lower chin. And then uh, I added the Street Hunter side skirts that they told me wouldn't work with the wide body, but we managed to, we just knocked out the lower fender and we made them work. I saw a video on that, so yeah, a little yeah. bit of fabricating. A little bit, yeah, we had to make a little bracket and stuff. And then we added the Street Hunter uh, side vents, which I think look out on any C8 and they fit on any C8 because they really extended down like a C8R. Yes. And then I went with the big chassis mount, um, which I stand by for Street Hunter because I've run this over 300 kilometers an hour multiple times and it is solid. It does not go anywhere. So. In Mexico. Oh, we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it anywhere else. Yes. Like, yeah. The car is covered in SunTech PPF which ironically I found it the other day, the 3M, the SunTech, and somebody else are all made in the same plant. So they're all the same PPF anyways. Ah, okay. So interesting enough, Don, over here, where I got into the accident, this panel and this door are the uh, uh, Expel product. The rest of the car is uh, 3M, or sorry, SunTech. But you can't tell the difference. No, you can't. No, so. Um, I'd never know there was a ding there. No, they, Man, unreal job. This whole this whole uh, piece right here was broken. So, tell me the story on these wheels because I feel that they were inspired by my bronze wheels on my M4. Well, they were. We talked about that. Yeah. So <laughs> I always wanted a gold wheel. I like gold wheels. And when you and I went to Edmonton, you had the bronze wheels, and I was like, that's the one. The downside is the C8 is notorious for brake dust, and these are a nightmare to clean. And I, they're ceramic coated, but it seems like there's always brake dust on them. It is what it is. Now you mentioned C8R. Mm -hmm. C8R. So I'm going to be wrapping it this week to look like, let me bomb through my photos here. I want it more race car-y, so it's going to look like this. With the exception of, because I have the carbon hood, I'm not going to do the yellow on the hood. So we'll do the yellow on the sides and here, and the red mirrors and the rear spoiler caps. There's a little, little bit of yellow on the back. And then I'm going to put a monster drink, energy drink logo back there. I'll probably do the C8R probably do the Michelin tires, and then I'll put my YouTube logo, I think, in the center of the door there and take it off the top here, back here. Crazy. So, does that look cool? It looks awesome. I think it looks cool. It pops more, right? Okay. So, yeah. So back to the twin turbo. Yeah. You've got to figure out if you can put it on top versus- The lower side, in yeah. In the back, and you have a buddy shop that he's at right now that you want to yeah. get his opinion? Yeah. Want to head over there? Let's do it. Okay. So Steve, could you have picked a dustier road to get here? Yeah, it's, it's kind of dirty, but... I, I mean, just washed it. Yeah, well, that's why my car is always dirty. It's because I come see Mike. 
Did my camera just die? And we found Don, Don's life. So uh, we're gonna go talk to Mike, see what kind of plan we can come up with to fab up the turbo system on this thing. And again, reason number one, I don't wanna buy one is the cheapest one I found installed at Pfizer Performance was $56,000 US, which is a third of the value of the car. So it doesn't make any sense. So we'll go inside here, see what Mike's up to. And, uh, hey, what's happening? But you I'm awake. Did you work out today? <laughs> I did. You did? Was yeah. it an arm day? 4, 4 a.m. workout. 4 a.m.? <laughs> what, what time is it now? <laughs> like, uh, it's like noon. Yeah. Um, before my battery dies, I just wanted to get your opinion on the twin turbo system we're going to do on the C8. Okay. So uh, come outside. Let's go look at this. <clears throat> Don's getting his workout in over here. Done for the day. So Mike, if you wanna to go to the other side of the car there and I'll show you what I was talking about. My plan is, you see where the cat comes off there and see there's that flange over there by the O2 sensor? Mm -hmm. So if we came off of there, could we do some sort of almost like pie cut 90 back this way and mount them both up here? How big are the turbos? 6266, so like one of the smaller turbos you can get. We'll have to find out. We have to take out the winch or the glass. Take it out. <laughs> no, we're not, no, no. Where do you want to mount them, like here? Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's doable. Yeah, like I think uh, I think we can put, put them kind of, you know, like right about here, mm -hmm. which gives lots of room still. You can, should be able to hear them good with the holes up there, right? Oh, you'll hear them. You'll hear them. Yeah. And uh, so can you, you can duplicate that flange so we can get a seal there, right? You yeah. Put it on your plasma. So then cold side wise, I think we'll come off of the two turbos here. We're going to uh, Y them together, come through here. You can see, there's, see that hole over there? Mm -hmm. There's one here. And they're asking for you to drill it out because there's a hole for your hole saw here. This is your rod? Uh, yes, or that's right. Yeah. Yeah. And then, but so on that side, there's a radiator, but on this side, there's nothing because it was originally designed for a CHR. Mm. So I think we'll put a heat exchanger in here. So we put a heat exchanger in there. And then on this side over here, this is where my stock air box is under that big bump. So we can put the core in there, mm -hmm. right? So you'd have, we'll go cold this way and under the car through there come back this way and then even or even you know like Pfizer the way they, they did it here is this is where the reservoir was on the on the heater core yeah or heat core so let's change her so we can do that too but uh so that's what I'm thinking sounds easy what do you think it's not bad yeah. Three days? Easy peasy. Easy peasy? Not impossible. Not impossible. <clears throat> what do you think, Don? Sounds like a fun? Yeah, well, well, I'm distracted because this thing is heavy as a... Yeah, I gotta get yeah. different hood shocks. That spoiler really <laughs> weighs it down, so... But, uh... Oh, yeah. yeah. I was wondering how that was <laughs> well, like, attached. That, the plate, I, I right? Yeah. Sean Tio's hay, like... Yeah. His was just, like, a tiny little plate underneath. Right. And we definitely beefed up on his car. So. I've run this spoiler over 300k a couple times and it stays on there. <laughs> so, but- uh, So do you drop it from here? Yeah, about there, yeah. So, yeah, so. Yeah, and then see how much room there is now, Mike? There's quite oh, a bit wow. of room. Oh, no, that's tons of room, actually. Yeah, so it shouldn't be a problem. No. So, doable? Yep. Yeah. Well, there you go, an update on fabricating a twin turbo system for his C8. We'll definitely follow that build. Now we're just going to crash a car meet and uh, see what's going on there. They might have already left. They were meeting about half hour ago. They could be gone, but uh, we'll check it out. Well, Steve, I think the uh, car meet left without us. That parking lot was supposed to be full. Yeah, they, uh, they left early. Well, there you have it. Uh, Steve's got some big plans in store. Not that they weren't big enough already with this beauty of a car right here. Yeah, but it's 500 horsepower enough to get groceries. So I don't think so. I get a lot of groceries in that and it's about 500 now. Yeah, but it's BMW 500 is different. Could you hear my new exhaust at all? It sounded so good. It did? Yeah, every okay. time you went by me, I could hear it, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. See, I'm inside, I, you know, it's always tough. How's this sound outside? Really good. What did you do the exhaust again? Nothing. That's the GM Performance exhaust. Right, the yeah. GM Performance. So, so your car, if you didn't spec your car with that, I'll just sell you this one. Cool. And you're getting rid of that carbon fiber. Mm -hmm. I'll buy that off you yeah, too. Exactly. See, look at friends, Perfect. partnerships. Perfect. I even have. If you didn't get a Z51, I have a Z51 spoiler too. Okay. Now, now we're talking because yeah. I talked about at the beginning of this video. Once I get my allocation, mm -hmm. then I build it and we wait. Right. Yeah. 
So good to know in that damn luxury tax. Well, Steve, thanks for uh, updating us on the car. We're gonna follow that build. It's gonna be sick. Check out Steve's channel, yeah. Steve Kusan, Instagram. Oh, all this right here. All that good See? stuff. He's got some uh, pretty entertaining videos and- uh, Are they entertaining? I find them entertaining. Yes. Well, you know, up here in Canada, we have to entertain ourselves. There's, uh, you know. Well, I don't know if you noticed, but I can't film any in Saskatoon. Like, to me, the, the type of content I film, I can't do here, or I could, but it'd be very difficult. So I do mine everywhere, but here, so. Yeah, well, here I caught you in Saskatoon. On a good day, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a rare day. Okay, well again, thank you. If you liked today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing, and we'll talk to you next time. So I just got an update. The police asked them to leave. Oh, so they must so. not have had permission to take up an entire parking lot. No, well I see there's ropes there and a pylon. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. But uh, I'm not sure. There is like there was a blue the Mustang there. There was the Camaro over there, and then there's a couple of Mustangs over there. But yeah, another one over there. Yeah. Okay. Well, sometimes uh, police shut things down. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I uh, know nothing about that. I mean either. Oh. Well.